Okay, so let me end up with a call to action. What should we be doing now to achieve Alan Perlis's vision of computing for everybody as a way of computational literacy as Andy DeSessa described it? So I suggest that we need to find our allies and grow the community, and we need to invent, even more importantly, to mutate and evolve. We need to have computing across the curriculum, so we need allies acro across the curriculum. We need to learn from everyone we can. In my own work, I draw often from physics education research, mathematics education research. I draw a lot from educational psychology and learning sciences. Computer scientists can't be the experts in everything. We need others to tell us how to make computing be everything. If it's going to be the master simulator, if it's going to be playing the imitation game, we need to be informed by our allies to tell us what's that going to look like. So in our SIGC mission, we said that we're going to provide a global forum for educators. It doesn't say a global forum for CS educators, a global forum for educators to talk about the learning and teaching of computing at all education levels. We need to think about our few individuals who are doing work that's important to us and helping them grow to be allied communities. It's part of our mission statement. So what do I mean by that? Here's an example. This is Aman Yadav, Beth Simon, Yasmin Kafai. These are three computer scientists in schools of education. There are very few computer scientists in schools of education, people who really know computing and bring it to schools of ed so that we can think about pre-service teacher programs and what should everybody, all teachers, learn about computer science. This is an allied community that we need to help from SIGSI. This is Maya Israel, who is one of the very few people I know in the world who studies how special needs students learn computer science. Special needs students, there's lots of folks who don't fit into our, that, that don't fit into our average model uh, of a student. Um, if we're thinking about computer science for all, it includes these folks too. These pictures are of two of my colleagues, my collaborators, who are both in history. This is Tammy Schreiner and Bob Bain. I think we're going to be needing to collaborate a lot with math, science, engineering, and social studies teachers who teach with programming. And the reason why it's our job to provide them a, com a community is because at first, it's not really going to work. Putting computer science into history is not necessarily going to improve history at first. What we know about educational technology is that including technology in teaching something else allows us to teach new things. It may allow us to teach something which you think is really important in better ways than we ever could before. But it's gonna take us a while to figure out how to do that. And at first, just putting technology into math, science, engineering, and social studies, it's not gonna work that great. It took Bootstrap a long time to figure out how to make Bootstrap algebra work really well. Project GUT, CT STEM at Northwestern, all of them, it took a while to figure out how to use computer science to teach science better. We're going to need to think about how do we support these other educators, the non-computer science educators, as they start using programming and ideas from computing in their classes. I want you to look at this picture for a minute. It's a picture that I took. Um, and ask yourself, what is this thing? I mean, there's a tape, and there's a, a mechanism with gears, and then there's what really stands out, this musical keyboard with letters on it. All right, so this is a Hughes printing telegraph machine from 1860. Um, printing telegraph machines, print machines that would print out the telegraph signal on a piece of paper and allow you to compose telegraph messages without having to know Morse code, they started around 1840. QWERTY was not invented until 1868. It was, that was patented, I'm sorry, 1888. So if you had the great idea of, hey, I want to generate a letter by pressing a key, which is a really cool idea, for almost 30 years, well, that's a keyboard. I mean, that's the only kind of keyboard you know. You don't have a typewriter keyboard yet. So maybe we don't have the QWERTY for computer science. We need to find the, the mechanisms, the tools, the user interfaces that make the great ideas of computing accessible. We may still be waiting for our QWERTY keyboard, because I suggest that computing is a little more complicated than telegraph, and we've only been at it for 50 years. And we can also go back and imagine, what if we had something better than QWERTY that became the worldwide standard, something like Dvorak? How much better would we all be if we could have adopted something even better than QWERTY when it comes to computing?
So I suggest that we need to invent, evolve, and mutate. We need to invent new tools, new languages, new curricula, new connections to other disciplines. But we don't want to just replicate what we have. We want to mutate and evolve. Everyone knew, everyone in software engineering knew that visual programming languages had failed until Scratch came along and it wasn't failing anymore. It served a purpose. Visual programming languages have now reached millions of kids. What we have today in computer science education has been built for a very few. CS for all, we need to expand the kinds of tools, languages, curriculum connections that we have. We need to invent new kinds of things. We need to build more, try more, and involve everybody. So I want to make sure that I recognize some of the collaborators on this work. Our funder has mostly been the U.S. National Science Foundation. Um, I have a blog that I keep up talking about these sorts of things, and my URL is now at the University of Michigan. So let me return finally to the mission statement of SIGSI. This is a noble goal, and I am deeply honored to receive this award from this organization and to be a member of an organization with such a noble goal. Thank you very much.